Hi everybody, it's Bill, coming back at you. Got a little fun video to do. I try and have fun, because that's the way it is. Um, so, I've been toying with this idea of jalapeno poppers, and I thought there's got to be like an easy, cool way. So guess what? Figure out how to do them in an air fryer. So this is a little hit or miss, but um, this is what I've come up with so far, and certainly if you have a some better options, let me know. So I'm gonna, what I did, I started, I'm going to show you, is you basically take a, a jalapeno, you need some pretty good size ones because they're stuff them, and you, you kind of cut a V out of them, and then what I do is I take a butter knife and just start trying to cut the, ve the veins and see. Now you can't go up too high because lots of times there's just a lot of uh, core up towards the stem. Um, yeah. So let me show you how this all works. So take my knife, be very careful. And cut. We're going to pry. Get rid of. And if you make a small cut, it lets you kind of see where the veins are and where you want to go because you can always make it wider because believe it or not you can even cut it with a butter knife. And then I just want to get in here and you need to cut big enough that you can actually get that butter knife in here. And then I can do this so I can seeds all over the place. I'm going to take my sharp knife and I want to Cut loose that top stem part. There we go. See how it all comes out right now. I'm going to grab a little something and put that all in because otherwise I'm going to have seeds everywhere. Let's just try this on a paper plate. Because these seeds fly. Now I can see in here, I'm just going to take, like I said, my butter knife. I'm just going to start cutting, kind of digging. I want to get all that core out because we need room for all our stuff. And it actually works better than you would think. The first time I tried this, I was like, how do you do this? But it works. The other thing is, if you want to save time, you can cut them in half instead of doing the boats. Some people do that. I just think this is more, like, fun. Okay, that's just me. I like people to know I put just a little more effort into it. Alright, here we go. This one's done. You always have to get that tack over the sink. Get all those seeds out. Alright, got a couple more here that I've already cut so it'll be easier to start them. Like I said, you could double this recipe. Um, they really don't reheat real well, so I kind of like doing the six. That's like that's like a fun little snack. And it's funny, I've tried doing this a couple times before, and I go to the store and it's like, what, you want jalapenos? Sure. Good luck with that. Very patient. At least everyone in the stores know me, so they uh, they know I'm looking for stuff. This is the dangerous part of the jalapeno seeds in the veins, man. The rest of it's pretty mild. 
So I've seen recipes before where you can save the part of the jalapeno that you cut off, but to be perfectly honest, I tried it once, I wasn't impressed, so I like my way better. As you can see, this is pretty, pretty easy. I'm trying not to ruin these and break them and look like a fool, so I'm taking my time. I have to be the expert, right? <laughs> Think about all these things that people sat around and figured out recipes for. And I applaud them because some of the stuff I would have never thought of. Right. Got this just about dug out. And just be patient, take your time, have a beer. Some of them have a million seeds and some don't. All right, this looks good. So I'm really just trying to make as much room as I can. And it's kind of cool. So you probably can't see real well, but it's pretty, pretty open in there. I mean, there's a lot of room for some, to put some stuff in there, you know? Um, and you could, you could sit here all day and try and get a little more out if you wanted. But I don't want you guys falling asleep on me, so I'm going to call it a day. Alright, let me move this out of the way. So I'm probably like most of you, I bought an air fryer and I'm like, oh yeah, this is really cool. Um, what do I do with an air fryer? So I made a couple things and I'm like, I don't know, I don't even use this as much as I thought I would. I mean, it makes great chicken wings. Um, I've done that recipe already. But, it's just, it's not real practical to, to me. I mean, like an air fryer, would have to be this big to do like enough wings to keep me happy. Alright, so I got some cream cheese. And I like using the block cream cheese better. It's better texture. Got like three to four ounces. Literally, there's like three and a half ounces in here because it was some leftover from another project I was doing. And I'm going to add some cooked bacon that I chopped up pretty small. And I just need about a quarter cup of that. Oh, I love bacon. I need like a quarter cup of onion. So I went a little crazy when I was cutting because I was watching the news. So I don't need all this. Can always add a little later because there's probably almost a half a cup in there. And I need like half a cup of shredded cheese. This is just like Colby Jack stuff, you know. And I'm going to start to get this mixed before I get all the seasons in here. And if it's room temperature, it's really easy to work with. Just have my little teeny spatula here. And I want this more stuff, you know, the junk stuff, than I do the cream cheese. So we're going to kind of make this interesting consistency. And this is going to have to work this just a little bit. So, what do I got? Well, so, normally I would maybe put a little cilantro in here. That's how I did it when I was trying it. But, unfortunately, my rabbits ate all my cilantro this morning. So, I was stuck. So, I'm going to use a little oregano. 
because oregano is always good, right? And I need about a teaspoon of cumin. So that's how we're going to make it that like southwest thing. This is a full jar. Thank you. So half. One. Don't get that big. And if you don't use bacon, you just put a little salt in here. I hate saying that because I don't use salt. But, you know, just to kind of get them flavors happy. So, I probably just wouldn't make it if I didn't have bacon. So that's just the kind of guy I have. Alright, so we're going to cut all this in. All mixed up real good. Oh, let's a little bit of cream cheese. And doing this with a a uh, small spatula like this, really, because I can kind of cut through it and kind of mush it all around. Like I said, the cream cheese is room temperature, definitely room temperature. And so it's pretty easy to make this all work out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take number one, and I'm just going to kind of stuff it. And really, you don't, you know, you can break these jalapenos open, so you do want to be a little careful, but just work on it slowly. And I don't want to mound it up too much because if it melts, it could kind of run all over the place. But we just want to make sure it's all packed real good. Pushing my luck on this one. And there's a good chance I'm going to have some leftover stuffing, and that's okay because I'd rather have too much than not enough. You can kind of feel it kind of bulge when you get all in there. And then just to make it look pretty, I'm kind of wiping out the edges. I think get more of my fingers out of it. Anyway, so I hope that this kind of makes you think. Maybe you can come up with some other things to put in here. Um, Maybe just taking some shredded chicken and the cream cheese and cheese and maybe a little chili powder and cumin. That's just the way I think, you know, but it does smell. Don't have to be perfect. Because by now your buddies are already having a couple of beers watching TV, so they won't even know. Of 
Chris Agnew, you can sneak a couple before you serve. doing it on the grill. I've watched people do it. And you get those little cups that hold them upright. I always feel like, what else would you do with those cups? Like, do I really want to spend 15 bucks and send the whole jalapeno poppers up? I've also seen where people do the bacon wrap. And um, I just think it's really hard to get bacon cooked to crispy when you're doing that. Um, if I'm wrong, Please let me know. Last one. I do get hungry when I'm making this stuff. I will have to be honest with you. All right. Quick checkup. Make sure these are all good. I always start off in the beginning being kind of conservative, thinking, oh, I don't want to run out, it would make me look like a fool. But I think they're really good. So what I need to do is let me move this aside. My fingers here. This is really cool. I got these liners. Really, really help keep from cleaning up the mess and I'm just going to set these in here I want to rock and roll all over the place so just figure out which way they want to lean lean them up against each other They're like drunk jalapeno poppers, man. They're rolling all over the place. <laughs> so I probably could have put three more in here. I wasn't sure, so I was being really um, cautious. I will show you when I take them out. How they look, how I arranged them, and I just kind of butt it in so that they're going to hold themselves each other up like good friends do. So anyway, I got 370 degrees for 12 minutes. I'm going to see you back and I'll show you what this looks like. Wow, look how good those look. It took about 10 minutes. I shut it off a little early because they were definitely blistered all up. They are smoking hot. So let's get back and show you how we're going to dress this up and make them look pretty. Wow, let me tell you, the smell is just divine. So let's pull these bad boys out and see. They're spicy. I'll turn around so you couldn't see it. So, all I'm saying that if you walked out to your friends right now watching TV and set that down, they're all going to burn their mouth because they're going to try and eat it right now. 
And the other thing that's really cool, everything's pretty hot, look at that. I just cleaned my air fryer. That's well worth it. This is Amazon. Only thing you gotta make sure you do is you gotta measure the actual how large uh, the, the, this part of the vessel is, not the outside dimensions. You know, you gotta be really careful. And let me tell you, they make 300 different sizes, I found out the hard way. So just look around. Um, I think 100 of these were $6 or some crazy thing. Um, and they work really well. And nothing sticks to them. I don't know if you can see, but these jalapenos are nice and blistered, so they're nice and soft. Um, wow. I, I can't say enough good things about these little boys. This thing's really pretty hot, so I'll just set up there. I think that, uh, I don't know why I waited so long to make these, because they're definitely a hit going to be a hit. The bacon, the cumin, just telling you, this is the real thing. This is better than anything you've ever had. This is better than what you get in restaurants. This is better than what you had at your friend Joe's house. Th 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 these, are, these are really top notch. All right, well I'm drooling, so I need to eat one of these. So I will definitely thank you for subscribing. Ring the notification bell, please comment when you try stuff, and, and I, I'm getting a lot more comments. I really do appreciate that. That means a lot in the world of YouTube. And um, I will see you next time when I have a really great recipe for you. Have a great day.